Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good start of your work week. As you can see, I am definitely back out here uh, doing my morning walk. I did my yoga, my morning grounding session. Uh, yeah, um, and as you can see, um, weather is okay. I know we still had the storm system in the area, um, and uh, it's, to, it's, it's supposed to be bringing us uh, some more rain today, um, a little bit later on. We got some yesterday, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to happen again, I think, tonight into tomorrow or something like that. But anyway, yeah, uh, yesterday when I woke up, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, I've been going through quite a bit with... Um, uh, some ascension things, you know, cleansing and so forth over the last week, receiving a lot of messages and everything. And I was trying to figure out, you know, uh, what was going on, what was the meaning behind it all and, and, and so forth. But uh, I still wanted to pop up uh, on, uh, on here, do a video for you guys, uh, let you all know, haven't forgotten about you, haven't dropped off the face of the planet or anything. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely wanted to see about doing that. And it gave you all the chance to see Little Miss Possum. Yeah, she, uh, unfortunately, she deals with um, quite a bit of anxieties. I'm actually the only person um, in this planet that uh, she actually trusts. <laughs> unfortunate, and it has to do with her background. Um, unfortunately, she, uh, when I found her uh, living on the street, she was only about six, maybe eight weeks old. And based off of my um, previous experience th that I had working with rescues and um, um, doing wildlife rehabilitation, I um, sort of suspected that she probably was living in a home and she probably got dumped out. She was probably one to last of the litter or something like that. And she got dumped out and quite possibly even that night. So yeah, she had a bit of a rough start to life. And if anything, the way she acts the way that she does, like she was in the video, it's not put on. <laughs> she isn't trying to get my attention or anything like that. She she is normally like that because she is just so loving and so appreciative of everything that I've done for her and everything. And we've been together for four and a half years. This year we'll make five years. So yeah, she's just such a sweetheart. I love her to pieces. So anyway, um, yeah, yesterday was a day for me to just, just chill. I it, it was like I had been through so much with uh, with everything spiritually and, and so forth that it was like, all right, I just need to take a step back and reflect and and, and really calm myself down. So that's kind of what I was doing yesterday. And um, yeah, and. Even last night, I had decided, you know what, I'm just going to lay here in bed and stream um, a, a, um, a TV show and just be done with it, you know. And between the TV show that I was actually watching, I won't say what it is, and everything that I had been going through over the last week, it really, everything kind of came together for me this morning as to the, the reasons why. I hope I have it figured out anyway. <laughs> and basically it's, it, it does go back to what we've been talking about with, um, with, with the chakras, you know, with getting things balanced, getting things aligned, getting things cleansed, um, you know, and it, it is a process. It isn't something that happens overnight. Um, it's something that it does, can take years because, you know, like they say, Rome wasn't built in the day. Well, guess what? Neither were our lives. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there, we all have um, past experiences. We all have past traumas and so forth. And, yeah, the show that I was watching was triggering a lot, quite a few things. And it made me think about the other things that I was going through. And it made me realize that, you know, I guess I hadn't really put some things to bed. I don't want to say I put it to bed, but hadn't really figured out how to 
maneuver through that, I guess you could say. I know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. On the one hand, I have all, you know, all this positivity in my life now. I do everything I possibly can to stay, you know, keep the, the chaos away and so forth. But same point, it can also be difficult for me to figure out how to balance the two. And I think that's what it boiled down to with the things that I've been going through over the last week is figuring out, okay, how do I maintain that balance? Because there's a lot of work out there that I know I need to do with helping people. But at the same point, I also have to figure out how I do it without it draining me at the same time. And that's where the balance is that I have to still learn. So, and you'll find that when you start going through the cleansing and the aligning and so forth, you'll find yourself starting to gravitate away from a lot of those activities. I'll start gravitating away from a lot of those certain types of foods and, and fluids and so forth. And... Unfortunately, in the process, I hate saying the word unfortunately, I think it's more of a fortunately, you'll also start finding yourself gravitating away from those certain types of people as well. Or they'll start gravitating away from you because you are on a different path than what they are. So, and I have found that out. <laughs> So, and they, you just have to remind yourself they're on their own path. They got to figure things out on, for themselves. It's good to be there for them, help catch them when they fall and so forth. But at the same point, realize they have their own journey that they have to go on as the end as well. Okay. So, anywho, I hope this helps. I hope the explanations help a little bit. I know I'm way over time here. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. I love you. I hope you have a great day and work week. Mwah.